Hi everyone, this is Tammy, owner of Worthy, Worth It, and Priceless, and today's podcast is titled, Don't Let It Come Into the House. I know a lot of us have junk mail, you know, like the advertising, advertisements, the ads, and everything. And a lot of times, we bring that mail right into the house, and for it basically just to be sitting around in our junk drawer, if we have a junk drawer, and basically all we do is throw it away you know, or we use it like for other stuff, but basically it's trash because a lot of us don't even look at it. So, um, my thing is why not just throw it away as soon as you get it? I know for me, like, thank God, like my trash is right outside of my door. So now I'm realizing once I get it, I just throw it right out because there's no reason to keep it. So I take what I need if there's anything that I need. And if it's in, if it's not anything that I need, then I just throw it away. And so that's the same thing with negativity or people that has no business actually being in our house. There's no reason to entertain someone that you don't want around. There's no reason to entertain trash or something that, or, you know, like just things that you're going to really just throw away in the end anyway. It's, if it's not useful to you, there's no reason to keep it. We all have our little guilty pleasures or certain things. But what I'm speaking about is, you know, those people who have negative spirits and things like that, what you don't want is for that stuff to come into your house. And then all of a sudden, your house the, you know, like the ambiance of your house is just all negative and, and everything and you don't know why. And that's because you let someone in your house or let things in your house just be negative. And all of us don't have the sage and all that other stuff. But if we can nip certain things in the bud at the beginning, it would be a lot better for us. So... I am a thinker, so a lot of times just say if somebody say something to me or something like that, I'll hold on to it sometimes. And the thing about it is what we can do is don't even let it come in the house. Deal with it before you even get into the house. Have all your emotions out in the world or this, that, and the third, or think about it or tell the person how you feel as soon as the incident occurs. But once you get inside your house, you realize, you know what, I'm not going to let it in. And so that way, your house is the sanctuary that you want it to be. It is the atmosphere that you want it to be. Because if we sit up here and we allow everyone's feelings, emotions, and drama to come into our house, or even manifest inside of us, then all of a sudden we're angry at everybody. We have an attitude, and we don't even know where it came from. And it came from some something that really had nothing to do with us in the beginning. So a lot of times I know that we are everyone's listening ear, and every time somebody needs something or wants something, you're somebody's counselor and all of that. Why not change it? Don't let it inside not even in your house, not even inside of you. You give them that advice. Once that advice is over, you wash your hands of it. You don't keep thinking about it. You don't keep dwelling over it or anything else. You let it go at that moment. You give whatever advice you have to give to that friend who's always calling you, to that family member or whatever, and you leave it there. Don't walk off with it. Don't keep it with you. So that's just my encouragement for today. And as always, know that you are worthy, worth it, and priceless. Thank you all for your support. Love you guys. Until next time, bye.